This is the World Prophecies reading formed by Alexis. You weren't saying we're a prophecy, right? Yeah. Okay. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. The ability to make a life beautiful, a love of family and home. Practical about how you proceed, a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past, personal growth that come from challenges, healing, of misunderstandings, being there for those in need. There's gonna be another tragic, they're already trying to make that monkey pox a crazy thing right now. A new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside, and take a leap of faith. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or a good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases, like a home or a vehicle. Okay, so far I got from this. Um, I did see uh, some stuff flashing before my eyes. Like? Um, this makes sense a little bit because I was seeing um, some people selling other people for money and greed. But then you do have good people who are trying to help out. Mm hmm Yeah. They're trying to help out. And they're going to um, be... Pretty much people are gonna who are doing good, they will reap what they sow. Mm -hmm. People who are doing bad, they're gonna reap what they sow, even though they believe they're not going to. But they will, it's gonna catch up to them. And okay. it's because the energy they're giving out is bad. Okay. And so because of that, that energy will come back to them because of that. So it's more like a cycle. Things you the things um you do, the energy you you give out to the world, you will attract that energy back. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason people tell you to be careful about how you treat others not because the way you treat them is because the way you're treating that person might come back to you mm -hmm. your intent sometimes if what you're thinking is strong enough you can manifest that towards yourself right those people don't know that though so you see people selling people for money people trying to do what about the rest of the cards well you do have that if the world takes a leap of faith i'm feeling like the leap of faith that is needed is to um leap into a new age a new era Mm -hmm. um, some people don't want that to happen because they're afraid about where it's going to leave them. There are some people who are like rich and in power that are mm -hmm. still stuck in the past. They still have their old beliefs. Mm -hmm. They're not giving that up. But if they finally take that leap of faith, mm -hmm. as you can see, like abundance, things are going to start picking up for everybody else. People are going to be able to buy jobs. A lot of people can't afford like houses like because this new generation they can't afford to buy a house hence why a lot of them don't have them they live in apartments because they can't afford to buy a house or roommates yeah so they're like so i so i was getting that if the old people who are not changing the way things currently they are, are they're not they're, they're trying to reverse exactly. the time clock but yeah if they, but if they finally take that leap of faith that is needed to for things to finally move on to, to move forward the things are just going to start picking up for everybody else. Okay. Th things are going to like start happening. Doors are sort of go um start opening. The economy will actually start healing. Like a lot of people who are homeless won't be homeless. It's because of those few people who refuse to change the way things are. They want to still they they want to take that leap of faith because they're so unsure. They're like things worked before. It's going to work again, and mm -hmm. it's not going to because things are different. It's not the same um era. They need to get that. That's all I was getting. Okay, cool. Okay. We have uh, the Rose of Venus alignment, flow right, I mean flow, relationships, harmony. Okay, so things going in balance. 
Um, the blueprint is within you. Take the next step. Again, what I was saying, like, mm -hmm. um, like again, uh, the blueprint. Through, um, it's there, but again, those people need to like move on. They need to again take that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. But they're not going. Stop to. being stuck in the past. Exactly. And then you have surrender to mystery right here. Um, fall into her arms. Like, like, don't be afraid to move on. Mm. Like, I know new is different. This new age we're walking into is scary, but it's again, it's needed. Again, people are going to benefit from this leap of faith. People are going to benefit from stepping into the unknown, mm. changing the way things used to be. Mm. Um, attracting like a rose, receive abundance desires. So, as you know, again, this right here. Like, people. You know, things are going to start looking up for people. Then you have inner winter, rest, patience, potency, secret beginnings. So, pretty much what I said over here. So, yeah. I just confirmed those cards. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I am getting that I should start going to, but not this deck yet. Always use that for the Hollywood reading. Yeah. Okay. Mom? Hmm? Is the world news um, is too boring for you? No. I'm starting to think that I'm drawing energy from you. You're doing something, because I'm getting tired and tired, but continue. Yeah, I think I'm drawing some energy from you. But carry on. The imprisonment, I believe you said something like that. I'm getting that... While I was pulling this, I was feeling uneasy. I was feeling uneasy, I was pulling these cards too. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Um, and then just, um, just wealthy people. I'm getting that these wealthy people are putting people in jail because of their own greed. They're betraying a lot of people. Oh yeah, taking money and running away with it. That's pretty much what those deception cards are. So they're they're being greedy and no and their greed are being um, putting innocent people who don't deserve mm -hmm. to be in jail. They're stripping them of their futures. True. Futures that they could have. Mm -hmm. Um those people that those people who are in prison, their um, families are going to be turned upside down. Um, it feels like like they're splitting their families apart. But from what I see here, is that there are there are people though, like this mature person. I'm getting they're, they're not the like there's some people who are wealthy, but these are not the exact same people. Mm -hmm. I'm getting. Mm -hmm. There are people who are, care more about making more money, um, but then you have people who, um, who s pretty much see like they see that things are repeating themselves. Mm -hmm. The life is like is we're not going forward because we keep repeating ourselves. They want to move forward. There are some mature people who do, like who are either close to empowered, no people are empowered. But they can't do it at the moment because they're again there's these wealthy people who are been in power they have money they have money for centuries for years their family family have money mm -hmm. they come from um, richness and power and they don't want things to um you know move forward because they they're afraid they're afraid about what will happen but the thing is if they stop thinking about so much about their greed and move forward Again, you have this sudden wealth. They will be rich. Like, they will still have money. They will be rich. Because, again, if the economy is doing well, they will do well. I got this, um, when I was pulling the cards, I got this sudden spike in energy. I think I joined from you. I'm sorry. You're good. That's my bad. I didn't mean to drop from you. I'll try to join for myself. I don't know how I did that by accident. So, we got people trying to put people who put people in jail for no reason, that's not unusual. 
But they're doing it because of greed. Because of that. And then. Uh, I'm getting from these cards. You know what these cards mean. Mm -hmm. So, but this, that's the thing though. Like, it's it's going to be almost like, like a, it's not like, it's, gonna, it's not going to be one person, but it's going to be almost like magic. That's, mm. That like, things start looking up and it's because, again, um, they're tr they can stagnate progress all they want but the world the universe almost they want this to happen they want certain people to do things that they meant to do in their life mm -hmm. so that's going to happen regardless of what those rich people who are in power are try to do like you can only control things so far to, to so ex um, to a certain extent but that's what I'm getting is that the universe wants something to happen they want certain people to reach their potential and they're realizing those people are not getting there because these rich people are keeping a lot of people from pro progressing. All these greedy people are they're keeping other people from reaching their potential. This world needs to go forward. And it seemed like all of this, these cards just like, okay, moving forward, making things happen. It's almost gonna be feel like it's gonna be magical when it happens. It's gonna just like when it happens, it will happen. A lot of people are in bad situations because of greed. Greedy people are um, in front of them. doing well in a situation and have faith in a positive outcome we need to stay positive that's what's saying like we need to stay positive that things can get better um your animal spirit guide is a guardian it will see you and it's helping you with the situation again um you have the spirits they want things to progress they want to help the situation and push things forward Twin flame. Here, let me see something. Hmm? Let me see something. Because I feel like I'm drawing energy from you unintentionally. And um, and I was tired a little bit before, and now I'm not tired anymore. So I'm like, okay, I think I just pulled energy from her without trying to. I think to. it's how big male is. No, I think it's that. <laughs> How do you feel? Okay, I feel a little bit better. Yeah, so um, I decided to send you some of my energy. Yeah, because you stole all mine. And that was an accident, sorry. <laughs> okay, carry on. I was about to do a little drink since doing that. Okay. Oh, sorry. You might end up going to sleep afterwards. It's fine, because I wanted you <laughs> to I give it back to you. No, no, no. Yeah, trust me, I'm fine. Okay. Because I do have a lot of energy left over. Okay, so what I was getting from this reading is that... um. Wealthy rich people are keeping things from progressing the way it can. They're keeping things from um, moving forward. Oh, especially them old farts that need to just croak already. But what they don't understand is that, like this right here, your um, your animal spirit guy guardian is helping you with the situation. Pretty much what I was feeling like, there are spirits in this world. There are the universe itself. Like... They want things to get better for people. They realize these these rich people that are in power, they're keeping things from progressing. They're keeping the world from moving forward. There's some people who can't reach their destiny, do the things that they're destined to do mm -hmm. because these people are keeping things like from ever moving forward, from going forward. And they're doing it because of greed. I they're doing that. it because 
They want money. This wealthy man right here who is in um, charge. These wealthy people um, who have innocent people going to jail. That they, know is in, that they know these people are innocent. But they've thrown them in jail knowing that these people's lives are getting ruined. And it's, they're doing it because of greed. So much betrayal. People being like the backstabbing of people for because um, they want to keep things the same. They don't want to take that leap of faith. They're mm -hmm. afraid that if they take that leap and to, to be more progressive, they're going to lose money. They won't have that greed anymore. They can't hold on to it. Now, what they don't understand is that once they move forward, like I said before, with this, things are going to get better. And the thing is, if, if, if the world is getting better, guess what? You're going to like, send wealth, send wealth. They, they're going to have more money. They need to stop mm -hmm. worrying about that, mm -hmm. honestly. So, like, you might lose money a little bit, taking that leap of faith, but it's going to help the world and the economy. And because I'm getting that if the world does a lot better, they're going to be doing a lot better too. So they don't have to worry about that. That's a good but one. then you have this, the answer to your question involves a spiritual based romantic relationship. I don't get this. Fun funny. I'm, I'm guessing that like with the world doing better, like relationships are going to spark, which I mean, makes sense, but like, I don't know. <laughs> As it involves a spiritual based romantic relationship. Hmm. It's a twin flame. I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a, a some kind of couple or something. It's going to give people inspiration. I don't know. The only thing I'm getting is that. What do you get from that? I don't know from that, but for the reading journal, I'm getting that. Um, these people are stopping from the world from progressing. Yeah. They have their I like told you that one. it's like they have their foot under like under the like movement progression and they're trying to stop this wave, this tsunami, honestly, of change. And by trying to revert, but I think they're yeah. biting on the ass. But the thing they don't realize is that the world will never stop for one person. Mm -hmm. for, for a group of people. They, the world will never stop moving and changing, progressing because they wanted to stop. Time's not gonna stop flowing because you don't want time to go. It's like, like the world will progress whether they like it or not. It's gonna happen or they want to or not. Hence, why all this stuff, as you see, things will get better as soon as they take their foot off of change and progression and let things progress, let things happen, step into the new age. Things are different now. Mm -hmm. Embrace the difference. Don't mm -hmm. work against it. It's a good thing. Embrace the change. I and I'm hurt. getting that as soon as they embrace it, things will start to get better, better than it was before. Because if the world's doing better and people are doing better, guess who's going to be doing better? They will do better. So too. are these old people going to croak or die? Um, I'm getting that there are some actual old people who do want things to change. Um, mm -hmm. I'm getting that there's some mature people too. Like I'm getting both old, young. I'm getting like a mix of ages, but they're all very mature in the way they see life and they see the world. And I'm getting that they're also like their their positions of power, yes, but they don't they're not in power enough to do the things that they want to do. They don't have enough power. Oh, okay. So they're kind of just forced to sit there and wish that things would get better. But those people don't need to worry anymore because just like the magician, you will make things happen. But you just gotta believe it, you gotta want it. Hence the visualize success. Visualize things happening for the better. Those people don't give up. Just visualize the things that you want, you will manifest it. I concur. That's all I was getting from the reading. That things are doing bad right now, but there are a lot of potential. There's people who are doing good right now and they're reaping their what they sell. Um, I'm getting that there's bad people who are doing stuff for greed. They, re they will reap what they sow in the end. <laughs> Again, Again, the energy they're giving off, they will eventually get that energy right back to them. Mm -hmm. um, they won't be able to run for it once that, when you get your energy back, they can't run from it. They're not gonna be able to run from that. Oh. So they're gonna reap what they sow eventually. What's happened in dark will come to light at some point. Hence, just because it's nighttime now, this means it's gonna be nighttime forever. So they're gonna have their moments where their dirt is gonna be leaked. Mm. Um, whether they want it to be leaked or not. That's deep. So I don't know who those people are, but you shouldn't do bad things to people. But again, they're gonna reap what they sow. Um, the people they put in jail unfairly, um, that will be known too. And the mature um, people, I hope these people don't give up. Uh, they keep their faith that things can get better because things will get better. 
and things will get better because there's a lot there's enough people who want things to change who don't want things to remain this way young people who don't want to stay the way they are they do want to eventually get a house there's people who want to move up in life but they can't because of the way things are yeah because you got the old generation trying to keep it in the past i can't wait till all they ask is croak i feel they're gonna croak probably within the next two years i see a lot of older people just dropping off mm -hmm. yeah they need to go yeah and it's time for them to go and i'm getting the reason why a lot of them are, especially the ones who are going to be like rich old people i'm getting that they're going to like a lot of them is either they're going to start reaping what they sell yeah or they're going to end up dying right and it's going to be because like i'm getting like the world the spirit like the spirit world is like i don't know what i'm getting but they want things to move they want things to progress and they're getting frustrated that a lot of people are not reaching their full potential mm. because these people are keeping the world stagnant yeah. and they don't want the world to be stagnant. They want people to reach their full potential and realizing a lot of people are not getting achieving the things that they can't achieve at the moment. They, mm -hmm. a lot of people are not reaching their full potential that they need to reach their full potential. These people were here for a reason and they can't do that with these old people keeping things in the past. These people are not um, meeting their opportunity like like opportune moments that they're supposed to meet these people that, that they're supposed to do something to help them in their lives or whatever. There's like a lot of people I was getting that are currently in bad situations because there are, there's a rich older person who's on top keeping things from ever progressing for them. And what they don't yeah, know like these Biden, people. He's one of them. He's an old fart. They don't know these people, but these people are keeping things stagnant. And there's a lot of people who are supposed to make a huge difference and they can't do that because of positions that they're in. So I'm getting that like things will start to eventually get better, but that's only if people who, who are in positions of power at the moment, but not like power power, they're not like those rich people, but there are still in power. Um, I'm getting that just um, hope that they don't give up, continue, don't give up hope and keep like pushing forward, keep having that dream um, those old people are going to die at some point. They can't, they're, they're not immortal. They will not live forever. But, but it will be almost like a magic though. That's what I'm getting. It's going to feel almost like magic. I know. I feel like they're going to, I say, I say within the next two years, you're going to see a lot of mm -hmm. unexpected death, but it's going to be the death of people we're not going to really care too much about. Yeah. We're going to be happy they're dead. Yeah. I'm they're gonna be dead of probably the crap they invented, or maybe monkey pox or cold or some shit. Yeah, it's gonna be some random illness. Yeah, it's gonna feel almost like magic. Things mm -hmm. are gonna start happening. They need to die. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I was getting from the um, from this video. Good, I got it. And well, I got my recording.